patio de cola de caballo, anestesia de caballo. Guillermo Rodriguez gave us the Spanish name for horse tranquilizer or trank. The medical name is xylazine. Anestesia de caballo is something that's now being included with the fentanyl in the heroin. The drug users we met on East 149th Street in the Bronx inject their dose of fentanyl right next to the Boom Health Van. How long have you been injecting drugs? Me? I got around maybe 10, 15 years. The dealers are meeting customers directly across the street. A police van with flashing lights chasing them away about 30 minutes later. The outreach workers from Boom providing clean needles to limit the spread of HIV and hepatitis infections. They're also carrying wound care packages. Skin ulcers are often associated with Trank. I'm seeing a lot of infections, pus running out their arms. The Bronx health care providers worried about the horse tranquilizer that's been mixed into 90 percent of Philadelphia street supply. Users often developing skin lesions and sometimes losing fingers and limbs. Our sister station, WREG in Memphis, reported a year ago that up until 2015, xylazine, Trank, was only present in 2% of Philadelphia's overdose deaths. That skyrocketed to 31% in 2019. Recent data showed xylazine was present in 20% of New York City's fatal ODs. The Bronx had the highest number of fatal overdoses in New York City, according to the most recent data. The Bronx is also the place where drug mills were discovered mixing trank into the street drug supply of fentanyl and heroin. One bad batch of xylazine ended up in Berks County, Pennsylvania, where more than 100 people overdosed in a single weekend in September 2021, with doctors noticing odd behaviors. They were seeing zombie-like individuals presenting to the emergency room. I would say that New York City is our primary source city of drugs in the city of Reading. Earlier this month, xylazine was involved in 40-plus overdoses in Syracuse, spurring a visit from Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Analyze where it's coming from to basically cut off the illegal supply that is reaching central New York and upstate New York. Xylazine can be bought online from Chinese websites, and so can the chemicals needed to make fentanyl, according to a former federal agent who recently testified before a congressional committee. So a crackdown on xylazine imports would have to include a crackdown on the websites.